Olorun e bi ki e bi ko number we bo number we ti je si won eni ti agbara n ko to le ri agbara ko wa je ibi lo doju ko Olorun e bi ka number we bo number we to ri iwo ni agbara mi they challenge my power and then indirectly or directly they are not talking to me because you are my power and if they challenge my power they challenge you stand against them is that a prayer point as many that challenge me they challenge my power then they are not talking to me god they are talking to you because you are my power and they are challenging my power arise challenge them i am not going to manage my enemy till next year i am not going to 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 smuggle them to the new year as many that challenge all the promises you have for me this year all the blessing you sent to me this year all the help you sent to me this year as many that challenge them they are challenging you directly because it's all your doing so therefore arise challenge them to their total destruction arise destroy them to their total destruction arise let this year be their last year open your mouth and pray in jesus christ mighty name we pray verse 23 said he bring presents to nothing and reduce the ruler to nothing god every one that claim to be ruler and claim to be powerful that rest you with me this year bring them to nothing i'm not going to new year to start but we did bring every one of them to nothing this year you said in your word that you bring priest and the ruler to nothing repeat it in my case is that a prayer point repeat it in my case everyone that claim they have power in fact they are tested okay with assurance that they have it in my case bring them to nothing agbara mo da won loju won ti ro yi yi awon agbara ta won mu bale lori temi olorun so won do fun je ki won ri pe agbara ti gbe agbara mi nbe laye lori temi olorun wa da ke o so agbara won do fun adura jesus oluwa wa say this last one powerfully I'm going to tell God. Hey. He said, "But those who hope, that is verse thirty-one. Those who hope in the Lord, He will renew their strength. How can strength be renewed? Something must happen. Is that also? Yes. The miracle, the wonders that will happen, that will renew my strength. Let it happen." You know, somebody that is afraid before. Hey, this is the same thing. This is the same thing my auntie do that they kill him. Now, ordinary land, my father buy they kill him. Hmm. Who am I? And now this woman, everybody say they kill them. By the time you just hear say he die, won't you? Won't your strength be renewed? They sack you. No work, no business. Suddenly, somebody just promise you like it has been happening before. Several promises, it doesn't come to pass. Suddenly, this time around, he promised like joke, like joke. A lot can enter. Strength, you no know, go renew. Uh uh. You no know, go work, you no know, go work. You no know, go marry, you no know, go marry. You no know, go born, you go no go born. Suddenly, impossibility become possible. The strength no go renew. He shall let things so agbara in the dinla. The apple that will renew my strength. The apple that will renew my hope. The apple that will give me power to fly, not just walking. The apple that will make me stronger and speak in boldness. I don't know how you will do it. You know the one I desire. Oh yeah, God, start working on it now. 
the happening that will renew my strength. God, do it for me. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus Christ. I decree everything you have lost this year, every good thing you have lost, I say every good thing you have lost this year shall, relo shall, shall locate you, shall grab you, shall magnet you, shall return to you in the name of Jesus Christ.
earth will be loose in heaven.
make all these promises sincerely, faithfully, and no deceit in it. But the condition, the only condition to all the blessing, divine blessings of God in the Bible, the only condition to it is holiness. To the core. Praise the Lord. If you are a teacher, there's an exam. And they say the the mark, the acceptable pass mark, according to the authority of the school, is ninety. Somebody with eighty nine, will you pass that person? Answer me. And that person with eighty nine. May even better than the person that scored 90. Just a little mistake. Is that not so? If Waek would not manage one mark lost, Jam will not manage one mark lost, then what did you expect from God? If ordinary human beings can be strict like that to ourselves, we are into this situation condition together. If we can struggle with ourselves like that, then what did you expect from God that is not even living here? That has never filled the sconch of sun. Let's check. Many people are sat down in their custody in their house, they thought about it. And in their dirty out, they concluded that Jesus is just deceiving us. All the promises he made, we didn't see any one of it. A uh, few people are giving testimony. I wish God is real. This or that, I'm tired. I pray, pray, pray. Which method of prayer remain? We are never pray. Mention that mountain, we are never climb. Waiting, I never do. Yet, no answer. Mention the type of fasting where person they fast. We are never fast. Yet, nothing is happening. I don't believe in it. Yes, many has lost their hope. But listen to me clearly. Many people they try to obey God in 50%. Some try to obey God in 70%. Some try to obey God in 80%. Some even try to obey God in 90%. And God's standard is 100%. Let's check. Whatever you are doing, don't ever think God betray you, disappoint you, or delay you. Only two things can bring your delay. Is either your sin or your blessing. I mean blessing can cause your delay. Sin can also cause your delay. I know you have question there. How can quit, how can blessing cause delay? If God determine, God determine that you must be blessed, and nothing must stop you. God can delay that blessing until everyone that can kill you, destroy the blessing, or stop you until all of them are wasted. So when you waste all of them, you may thought at least from the age of 26 are supposed to be a millionaire. He can delay you to the age of 36 or 40. So that at once when the blessing started, he will not stop till death. 
So, if he love you and he's so concerned about you, he have interest in your case, he can delay you for a while only if you can understand him. That one is different. There's some people, they don't know that the whole kingdom of darkness are monitoring them. Any little mistake, any little sin, or little lie, they don't know that their case is in court already. They think they can do what others do. They think they can talk like others talk. Not knowing that their case is already in court. They are handling your case. And you are careless. You are not careful. You are not washing. And what do you need to wash? Your mouth. Your reaction. Your feelings. Did you know what you digest in your heart and you never pronounce it can be counted as a sin unto you. And uh, if they really mean you, they really mean you. And well, at times, boldness they say personal. Do you know if somebody has shit somebody before, he collect money, did not return it. He now come to your house. He say, ah, government has given you a card free now. You only need to collect from 10,000. And when it's time, they will give you your card free. Because of what he has done before, in your mind, you now say, hmm, only thief for one now. <laughs> Me, my 10,000. I go chop arm. This one, they never know the arm. You know, if they give him money, if he bring the Awakada, the second set, I will give my 10,000. As you are digesting that thought, and the person now say, Auntie, have you they doubt you? You say, No, I didn't doubt you. You can lose 10 million for that spiritually. Because to you, you believe nobody sees your heart. And don't forget, as God can see your heart, demon can see your heart. And the case you are facing is a spiritual case. So everything that can reflect the spiritual world is reality to the spiritual world. Your foolishness thought that it is only what you say and you ask. Listen, it is here on earth they are searching for evidence. But when it comes to spiritual world, they don't need evidence because everything is visible. In spiritual world, let me show you something. When you have Go TV, you cannot rewind, reverse, or play yesterday film. Abi, Go TV, Abi. But there are some DSTV you can do that. Is that not so? That is exactly how it is in spiritual world. When they invite your spirit man to spiritual court, they will not act, they will not just say, "Oh yeah, tell your story." They will just what happened on the 26, 2002, February. They will just reverse it like this. this just in the ear like this. You will turn to screen. You will watch the film how you lie by yourself. So you don't need to defend yourself because the truth is what they will show you. That is why you'll be saying, but I'm praying now. Why can't, and they will tell you that you have two angels that are fighting for you. And one prophet say, I have three angels protecting me. Then where are my angels? They are there when they take you to court and they see it with their eyes that you are guilty. An angel of God will never fight for a guilty one. Are you getting it? My dear, when I'm talking about spiritual case, spiritual court, spiritual standard, spiritual demotion and spiritual promotion, my dear, you have injured yourself so much. These key of heavens, these keys of heaven, many of you, you are the point of getting it before you lose it. Do you know how many times you have getting to, to the point and you lose it? Many times 
you are qualified for the key of heaven. But those time you thought you need to you need to just pronounce a little sin just to let that thing go. Do you know things you lose in spiritual world? Let me now inform you this. I don't know why I'm giving this message. I don't know why. You say, just go and ask them, where are their keys? Many of them thought, all my promises go in vain. This year has gone too. What has gone through? Tell them, they are my problem, not devil. I do my things according to program, plan, and I don't, I don't betray my work. But if anyone scatter my plan, you will need to go and start all over again. So they are the one wasting their time. I never waste anybody's time. My promise is real and sure. Tell them to stand by my word and be watchful. They don't just jump up and down, rejoicing in the love, Lord, like a fool, without careful in the Lord. They need to be careful in the Lord. Listen. I know God will help me to talk to your understanding. Look and never compare yourself to others that are committing sin regularly, which you yourself confirm they are sin, and yet they are better than you. It's only a fool that will think that way. I've told you several times. A child of 15 years in your house, will you permit him to smoke in your Indian hand? Will you permit a child of 15, even 30 years, will you permit? But if you see a child of 12 years in garage, in garage, among the town, smoking in the we will carry cane, enter there, go beat and that. You are too small to smoke. Will you do that? It doesn't concern you. If God has special interest in you, and everything about you concern God, he has the right to rebook you step by step as you are making your mistake. Are you getting me? You are not answering me. Listen. Where are your keys? Listen. He promised. He's able. And there are some things God himself has done it before. He vowed not to make that mistake again. Don't say it doesn't matter. Remember, I came out of the kingdom of darkness with a lot of experience in the other side. I've told you several times, any gift, power, and anointing that a child of God lose does not return to God though. As you are losing power, gift, and anointing, you are losing it to your enemy. As you are losing it, they are getting it, and they are becoming stronger than you. That is why problem you did not experience before when you really come into Christ. This day you are experiencing it because you yourself has made your enemy stronger. Let me tell you this. Agbara, Agbara, Onume, Onume, power, power. Oh yeah, God, give me power, authority, prayer, authority. This, he gave it to you. After six months, you realize you lose it. How? You cannot... You cannot remember how you lose it. Don't you know that the moment you are asking for something delicate, something powerful, something that is so great, which the whole kingdom of darkness are looking for, do you know how many price they pay before they can get it? Whenever you ask what they are looking for, as many demon and enemy around that place, without knowing you and your family, so far you carry what they want. They must follow you. Fighting you. Targeting you. They can follow you for 10 years. They can attack you for 10 years. And you will not be injured. You will just feel it in your dream attack. In your dream physical behavior. They will not affect you. But the day you mistakenly fall into sin. Excuse me. If a whole demon of 3 million is monitoring only you. And you now die in your heart. You think they are deaf and dumb and blind, they will not see you. My dear, that thinking in your house, at which you thought you are the one thinking, is speaking loud more than this speaker. 
to the whole kingdom of darkness. Everything you digest in your heart, they are hearing it louder. So the moment you you digest evil, lust, hatred, arrogance, laziness, selfishness, you are still digesting it. Ah, this thing, this man's make a good. I'm not going to do that. I will take star. Pretend I'm going to toilet. As you just digest them, they have already get it. And if you now take this term, you are so deaf. You don't hear when they shout for joy. Wow! He has fallen a step drop. A step drop. You never fall for ground. But they are counting your down. If you, know, if you hear counting down, that's a statement from the kingdom of darkness. A step drop, counting down. Some people are counting up, but some people are counting down. Excuse me. If anybody's sleeping now, you are destroying yourself. Because this information I'm giving, you tell me to repeat this message tomorrow. I can't repeat it. So be be alert. Open your ear and your heart. The great information you need to know about spiritual realm. Question. One step down means because when they want to fight you in high place, they must be of there must be a number and the percentage of the point they must cut against you before they will sue you to court. They will start counting down because something great is in your hand. They regret for being slack to allow you to collect it. And they vow to collect it from you. They can't collect it from God. They can't collect it from angel. You are the only weaker person they can collect it from. So that time, there are some things that will be coming around you. A thread will come from nowhere. Someone you love so much and trust will disappoint you. Someone will betray you. Someone will just be frustrating you. It may even be your children at home or your husband or your wife. Even in the church, a woman of God that ordained you, that anoints you, we accuse you wrongly. Things that will force to do nonsense will be happening to you right and left. Mark this. If things like that is happening to you, that means there's something greater. Either in your hand or that is coming to you. You are in a battlefield. But foolishly, you will be expecting somebody bringing arrow, bringing sword to your dream. No. When you are a promotional or demotional battlefield, it is not demon that will appear to you. It is human being, especially so-called holy people. And they are not a gift of darkness. But the spirit of error, they will send it around you. Everybody will just be doing nonsense to you. Around you. In fact, if they discover it doesn't work fine, they will go to your finance. If it does not easy, they will go on to your health. They will make you emotional trauma. They will touch everything just for you to make an error. They need an error to stand against you in spiritual court in order to hijack that thing from you or to hinder it not to come to you. When we say watch and pray, we trusted so much in prayer. Prayer can claim you anything from heaven and careless can take it away without activating it. Prayer can get you anything from God. And careless can take it away even without even touching it at all. Like think they come by one leg away. That is why God now became so careful by releasing such power. Don't you know what it means? The keys of the kingdom of heaven. If you now release it to you, you now carelessly lose it. What will happen to spiritual warfare? Do you think it's a joke? So, God now become extraordinarily careful in releasing this. 
that error has happened before he doesn't want it to be repeated so you that you are careless in ordinary Fiji ah tonight I must do three hours Fiji now three o'clock he wake up he looks eh? why is he so weak like this not only that he wants to test you again your normal tight every month is 15,000, 10,000, 12,000. Suddenly, 500,000 come. Which the tight is supposed to be how much? 50,000. He now say, I will divide it. I will first pay 25. Later, I will pay 25. After all, I will complete it. To you, you thought you have power to do that, Abby? You thought you have power to do it? Spiritually, you have failed already. And what that means is this. He has no power to control wealth yet. It is that wealth, that money that control you. It is not you that control it. Let me tell you this. Do you know it's possible for you to be seriously in need of 200,000 and the only money that will come to your hand is, is 180? How do you remove tight in 180 when 200 never complete? If you don't have power over mammon, you will discover you won't remove it. And he will lock the door for another one to come. Look, when God wants to test you, God will not test you by killing you. He will test you on things you are careless about. Not only that. Your brother or your sister or your friend or your in-law that so much insultive and not born again, but claiming to be born again in the Pentecostal church is going. Holy Spirit will be dropping it into your heart. Go and tell him to repent. Wish you know that the insult and abuse he will give you. In fact, when you tell anybody, they will say, Ah, my hand no deal. In fact, if you go tell them. You know he's very close to your guy. This man will make sure they sack you. Everything that surrounds you will be telling you taking this step is very, very dangerous to you. Abby. And God will now sit like this be looking at you. Maybe God wants to establish you and make you a CEO of a company. Maybe God wants to establish your own company for you. That's the first terrible test he will bring before you. Confidence. Can he sacrifice his pride for me? Can he sacrifice his money for me? Even his work? Can he even shatter his hope for me? You know your work is your hope. Can he shatter it for me? Now say, God, I will be praying for him. God, touch him hard to. Touch him hard to. If I try this man, he can destroy me. God can wait for three months. You don't do anything. And you forget that the dream you have in January, February, March, and uh, April, he waited for you to activate the dream by preaching to that stubborn person that can then endanger you. You close your mouth. So later, the blessing no come again. You now go to Monday and say, God, where is my blessing? You have lost it already. Your problem is that divine calculation, heavenly calculation, spiritual calculation, you don't have it. You are only using your useless calculation here. Your calculation here is different to the divine calculation. Are you getting me? Do you know why I'm saying this? If there's anyone blaming God, what has God done for me this year? Did you realize what you have done for him? Do you realize the havoc you have caused? I make a very silly mistake. Maybe 2014 or 15 chapter. Everybody are dreaming. Mommy, I saw your Jeep. Your Jeep is coming. That dream started coming regularly. But Mommy, you know, to Akura. More than 30 people dreaming. Mommy, somebody give you Jeep. That Jeep is very fine. Me too, I saw it. And I'm expecting God to do it. When that year now pass, I don't see any Jeep. I say, God, you know I'm not so curious or um, desperate about what it is. All I need new car for is for traveling. You know this one, don't they give me serious? 
problem. Just you promise you will give me. Jibi. You will show it to many people. Why you no come? <laughs> you know, answer me that day. After two weeks, a day is I do and I saw one Baba. He say a wicked man deserve wickedness. I say yes, yes, you are right. I don't know they are talking about me. He said, he mentioned the name of him, somebody, the pastor. He said he invited you to his church for revival. Do you know in their committee meeting, they fight that they should not invite you? That the way you will talk, you will condemn the whole church. And you get here that day. You talk to all the young girls in the church, all the women in the church, they are dressing. And you see what the pastor, the elder do, you do not mention it. I brought you there to give somebody last warning. Do you know that person, that elder and the pastor? Two of them died in accident three months after your revival. In two months after your revival. And they did not make heaven. You will have been the one to give them last warning. Maybe they will have saved. And you are expecting jeep from me. You better talk to me that I did not kill you to follow them. Ha. And you know what, 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 what made me to be keep quiet? They say, one of the members of the church say, Mommy, they say any church you go for revival. Some of the church scatter. And we have been praying that as you do, as you are coming for our revival, our church will not scatter. That is the statement that affects me. Oh. That now taught me anywhere I'm going, I will make sure I do not talk to the pastor or anybody in the church so that they will not change my mind. I don't know. Excuse me, normal little woman being, am I wicked? Am I wicked? The woman being, I'm not wicked, but spiritually, I'm wicked. And I'm very, very wicked because. Going to hellfire is not just accident that they can say you will stay in Gobi for two years, you'll be okay. No correction, no adjustment, no exit. Is that not wickedness? True, true. Truly, I'm not the cause of their sin. But I'm the last hope. And I fail to do it. And to me, I would think, Lord, I thank you. You sent me for that revival. I've gone. I've fulfilled what you sent me. To me, would I justify myself? But to God, I am wicked. That's why I lose my jeep. Oh. The wind, she may thought they are the one that hinder me. They may be praising themselves, say ah, they are the one that hinder me. But to me, between me and my God, I know say that may be the wicked person. Did you hear that? So whenever you thought you are justified, you are justifying yourself. When you come to you and God, close your dirty mouth and humble yourself. Because what God is counting for you may be far different to whatever you may be counting for yourself. God is not a wicked God that will fold his hand and see you suffering without no reason. With no reason. No. That is why that statement that say, watch our Go back to it. And make sure next year is not a wasted year again. Be very, very careful this time. Be very, very watchful this year, this time. Your keys. What delay because you don't deserve it. Your kills are not given because. If you get it, your enemy will get it from you. Spiritually, you are not secure. Physically, you are not secure. There's no security around your mouth, your heart, your brain. The divine security has been deleted. You are exposed to danger. That is why the God of heaven discover anything given to you will be transferred to the enemy. The enemy has seen you as a leaking hole. Anything that gets to you, you are so weak to extend even your dream. Somebody is a waiting mother looking for children. God knows, say, if they show you that revelation, enemy will know. 
because nothing is securing you again. There are some sin you will commit. You will not seek. It will not give you arrow. Oh, this message is very, very rich. Be careful. Don't lose it. There are some sin you will commit. You will not see any attack. Headache will not come. You will not hinder your money. They will be doing a very destructive work in your life. Let me tell you. There's an operation we call Operation Disarmor. Disarmor. If enemy discover, there's no way they try to get you, no way. Any arrow they choose you pass by, that means you have spiritual security jacket. Anytime they want to penetrate into your body, this thing will bounce it back, bound, bound. They will now stop attack. They will start monitoring. Little lie, little hatred, little anger, little pride. They will be disarming you one by one. Agbada boye, mama bo. One, 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 one. Yata paki ni, yata paki ji yata se. They will be removing it, removing it. They will be nicketing you, but you will, you will be at, you will be, you will be at rest as it. Eh, even though I lie. God knows the reason why I lie. After all, nothing happened. As they are disarming you, in the dream you can still be fighting and be winning. We are as operation is going on. Because the people fighting you and you are winning them in the dream, they are another department, local department. But the real one that is hunting for your life, they will be cities. They can, it can took them two years before they disarm you, you finish you. But the day they are free, naked you. Hey! Defense launch, they will give on you. Everybody that honor God in you will say, Hey, so this thing can happen to daddy, so this thing can happen to mommy, so a holy man of God, this thing can happen. Do you know how many years they have been busy naked in you gradually by gradually? But because nothing happened, your confidence grew. Where are your keys? God is not a liar. But you are his problem. Everything he truly promises, he really meant it. I want to do it. But you never permit him. At times, some of you, spiritual points, you have scored up to 90. Just to place the crown on you, just to release the grace to you, just to release your power to you, just to give you the emblems and logo. Simple. You will just come with your useless lie. Careless lie. And to you, if it's in the olden days that Christians fear God, when they lie, they will quickly remorse. They will go on their knees. Oh God, forgive me. Oh, this We are just coming this lie. They can even call the person back. That's the only way to reverse it. Oh, without fasting. Brother, I'm sorry. What I just say now is a lie. I'm sorry. All of them will cry, Oh, we lost it again. That little thing you do, hey, you free yourself from great loss. The modern Christian, they are loser. The moment they lose, they lose forever. Because the art to come back and say, This is what I just say now. Or what I say yesterday is not true. Because the moment you make that restitution, the case, the case file will be hung. They won't be able to push through. But brother born again, sister born again. Do you believe in that? Restitution is nothing to you. Restitution rescue you, but you ignore it, no one to rescue you. You trusted so much on your fasting and prayer. Oh yeah, what is the result? Empty. Shame on you. Don't ever put your blame on Almighty God. The same God of Joshua that tamper with nature for Joshua is the same God you serve that can never even kill hands for you. Shake it. Shake it. Am I talking sense? Don't put your blame on God. He's not a weaker God. Shake yourself. I don't fornicate. I don't fight people. I don't shit people. Yes, physically, yes, you are right. Spiritually, 
are you not a stop dropping every day? A stop dropping. Another thing used to happen. <clears throat> this thing happened to pastor. Don't worry, I will pray for you. Ah! Until you come back on Sunday, you don't pray. And he said, Pastor, do you pray? Ah, no, we are praying for you. A step drop. We are asked you don't pray. A step drop. That is why your speech. As Soroshe, he sorrow that. Let that thing be your logo. See, a man of authority will never speak in vain. If you believe Oluwa Ashe, they were me. Then if you believe truly you deserve Ashe, start practicing Ashe before Ashe come. Means whatever I say must be real. That means you must not lie. If whatever that will come from your mouth must be real, then lie must not come. Because lie cannot come to pass. Then reality is no more in your mouth. Then if you are God, somebody that wants to be a man or woman of authority and he can lie, will you give? Because lie can never come to reality. Authority must be a reality. Oh, I'm taking you to this to the spiritual standard of authority and the spiritual standard of manipulation. How darkness manipulates and how God looks on you every day. If I'm a commercial ratio of the world, don't you only as you get it as you that. You need to see more than what you are seeing because you are too weak to carry the mantle you are you are you are desiring. You are too weak. Hey, if the gift and anointing is genuine from God, no, 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 there must be condition attached to it. It's only the one from devil that has no condition, even the one from devil himself, I have condition. And the remedy is your life in hell. Not even you, oh man, nia. Oh, tola numbere, lo wore. I no ready ke dia. E jere wa no rire, yo wa ku. La yi bada. E jere wa no rire. Look. If you hate me, fine. But if you hate my message, you hate yourself. Because my message is not talking about for me. My message is talking about you and your God. For you to hate me and hate my message, you are demonic already. Because something is happening to you. Because unless you want to lie, you need this message. Because this message was not produced by me. Okay. Before I left my office, he gave me the quotation, Matthew 16, 19. And he gave me the topic, where are your keys? Then what would I preach? He said, go, when you get there, I will talk. Oh yeah, how does it be my, my message? Because normally, that quotation is not new to me. I'm using it to pray. Then how will, what did you want me to preach in this quotation? Is it not promise? Do you want me to go there and tell them, believe God has promised you it will come to pass because I don't they practice many things in my brain. Then when I reach here, he said give them these three prayer points. Before they preach finish, I would, I would, I would load you. That's why I started talking. He said they thought I'm weaker God or I'm slow or I disappoint them. He said I never disappoint one. But I'm not ready to lose my weapon to the to the, to, to the camp of my enemy anymore. The more I give to them, the more they lose it to them. And they come back with forces against my people. They capture them away from me and I'm not happy for this lost and I'm not ready to lose them again. He said, they want power. They want glory. They want blessing. Do they know that as powerful as they are, as attracted the enemy will be, as glorious as they are, as reflection of battle will be. They don't prepare to fight, but they want to claim. Jesus, we were no son, no 
then when your when person get visa, God, why me? Where is my own God? I'm about to buy more too. Or you give testimony, you build house, or you got you marry man where be millionaire. It is then you carry your dirty mouth, go mountain. The same God is expecting you to cry. Do you know at times God can show somebody revelation for you to jealous and cry for your home? You don't cry that time. But when they now buy visible thing, worldly thing, it is then you go and cry. If God decides to see your cries as a your tears as a crocodile tears, is God guilty for that? That is what you make him to feel about you. I'm telling you all this so that you don't start to waste the new year by yourself again. The wasting of year, failure of year, sorrow of year, at times you are the one that started before enemy join you. They only help you to finish what you started. And you go and pray and start fasting and pray, God, keep my enemy. If the killing will start, it may start from you. Because you are the author of the horror. My people, where are your keys? Or is there no more keys in heaven to release? Why is he not releasing it? Is he a liar? Is he deceiving us? All answer I've given to you. So therefore, reason you cannot undo key, reason you cannot use the key, I think you should understand better now. And you do not need to understand for nothing. Understand for correction. Understand for perfection. Understand to disappoint devil. Understand to stand on your feet. Understand to regain your strength. Understand to fly higher. Understand to win all the battles you have lost. Understand to lose everything you have lost. Understand to gather everything you have scattered. Don't understand for nothing. Understand to be wiser. And uh, there are some enemy by now their operation is showing you they are very powerful. It's a lie. There are some enemy anytime you go into prayer they will attack you. There are some enemy when you pray the problem will be severe. You are the one that give them that position they occupy. You are the one that give them the land they are ruling. You are the one that give them the chance they are using. In fact, the authority they are using on you was handed over by you. My dear, you are still breathing. You, you can still correct it. You can still change it. You can still stop it. You can still get it. But if you are waiting for somebody that has anointing to come and lay hand on you, you may not get it till you die. Enemy never tired of attacking you. You are the one that will stop them forever. He promised kiss. One did not come. He promised pro protection. Ah, he said, No weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. Is that not so? The everyday arrow. He even promised. The wealth of the Gentiles will come to who? To me. Where is the wealth? We even go and borrow money from them. Go back and sit down. Think very well on it. Who is the cause? What is the problem? Why this delay? With your mathematics and calculation, if you do it well, your result will be you. Your result will be you. And then work on yourself. Number one. If you pray for one hour, the remaining 23 hours, watch yourself. Am I talking, says? If you manage to pray for one hour in a day, the remaining 23 hours, watch yourself. 
23 hours washing we retain the prayer of one hour burning like fire speaking louder like thunder and nothing will stop it until the result come but if you pray seven hours and you cannot watch you may not get anything but some stupid people will say not how long you pray if you just pray a little you'll be answered since you don't pray a little you get answer because the power to support that little prayer which is holiness and carefulness did you have it then why are you preaching heresies why are you preaching nonsense they lost the appetite of prayer if they see anybody praying they will be telling that person not how long you pray but the little you pray God answer you that you preach that best message and say it the little you are praying did God answer you he would not because the power and the strength that support little prayer you do not even have it and the more you say that thing you will kill many people they will say after all pastor say not how long you pray just little prayer God will answer if you are a pastor you have ever said it so they started praying because that statement if you know how many souls you will destroy if you know how many mighty men will lose their power by that statement you are one of the higher killer that statement is an instrument from the kingdom of hell person will still pray three hours you never get power to protect it you are still encouraging him to pray 20 minutes and stop by your silly talk but imagine if somebody can pray three hours and he can protect it and wash for 20, 21 hours who can stand against that person nobody And when I say wash, start from your heart. Because you stupidly think, so far I did not say it, I did not commit sin. He said, Lyo, start washing from your heart. Whenever that demon brings that evil thought, rebook it immediately. Rebook it immediately. Not even saying it. Remember, fifthly, there was a day, 17 years remain. I believe it's too small. I put that inside my purse. To you is a foolish name. The day you face spiritual judgment of the throne of God, you will discover that you come with foolishness is a wisdom. And that your foolish wisdom is a foolishness. You did not come to workers' meeting. Mommy, I came home. I came home. And in your mind, you know you came very late. They are almost finishing before you came. But because you shout, you know, say, Sister, don't you see me? Now after program, you see you. Brother, maybe you see me. Not be at the back. I see. Yes, I see. And the best accusing you accepted you came. Then your mind tell you, even though I late. Why can't you just say it? I came, but I didn't get anything because I came late. But that same lie, especially when you lie and somebody admits to you, okay, especially now open mouth. Sorry, that sorry is killing you. That sorry tell you he has destroyed you. Because that sorry is an evidence that you are guilty. There might people when they lie and they succeed in making somebody that is right to say sorry, they become happy. You are not happy. You are destroying yourself. Did you get me at all? So go back now and start this. It's an assignment. Assignment you must finish before December finish. You must finish this assignment. Restitution, restitution, restitution. The one you remember, the one you don't remember, start working on it. Or else, condition of next year, I don't understand it. Stand on your feet. There are two kingdoms registering and recording you, demons and angels. Two of them will never forget. When you think you forget or that person forget. So don't overlook any little sin. There's a testimony somebody give. Either that testimony is a lie or true, I don't care. They say somebody go to hellfire because of a match. It's not a box, so a match, a stick. If somebody can go to hellfire because of a stick of a matches, then tell me that sin that doesn't matter. 
No, normally human being, a stick of mash, it doesn't matter. Kini. E bi fun ala mi o didi pali sa na mo fun. Ma bi e da lo san waju te dajo. I myself I don't give them a whole box of matches before. The bone you go to that one for judgment. Nobody will remember the box of matches you give to that man. They, they will all remember a stick you take without permission. That's why I used to tell my children, don't take my thing without my permission. Forget that I'm your mother. The kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of darkness will not judge your all you as a mother and child. And kingdom of heaven will not make their judgment on the basis of mother and child. All unrighteousness is a yeah, or a buruku, it's a terrible quotation at the throne of judgment. All unrighteousness is a sin. If you see how people are condemned to hell with this single quotation, you will be very, very careful about it. Pray this prayer. God. Give me grace to settle my spiritual case before this year runs out. Give me grace to settle my case before this year runs out. I'm not going to the new year as a criminal or as a prisoner. I'm not going to the new year as a criminal or as a prisoner. Excuse me. A landlord that get three houses in Lagos in anger problem, he did for prison. The money where they not pay, they will come give him for prison. Answer me. Landlord for prison come collect money for house. When I say prisoner, be careful. So that you will not enter the new year as a prisoner or criminal. Give me grace to settle all my score this year. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. Amen. One more prayer point. Listen to this before you pray. One day somebody died. It's a man of God. They do the way keeping. I cannot go. I have revival. So, after the old thing, the wife now thought that I did not come because maybe God has shown me that the husband has gone to hell. That's why I did not come. He now came to me and said, Mommy, what I want to know is that. I want to know where is my husband. Did he make heaven or not? Ah. I said, God, no, they give me that information. I know the fortune where people go after death to what, what matter most now is yourself. You can never change anywhere he is. He has gone, has gone. No more help after death. But when he left, me to now say, I need to know. Let me know. Because the woman still claim he need my help. He want me to be coming to the church to help her this that. Do you know what? As I pray, about the journey of this man. Ah! Come and see warehouse. They wrote the name of that person. Pastor, so, 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 warehouse. In that warehouse, I can see hammer. I can see gun. Plenty bullets. I can see vehicle. I can see house. Different passports. I can see the big churches. I can see... But there's a... There's a poster there. On touch. On touch. Ah. So till he die, all these things, you don't use them. Say, that is why he cannot make it. He's one of the people that bury my talent. Nobody say he fornicate. Nobody say he steal church money. Everything he made them righteously. The things, the gift he failed to use is the reason why he cannot make hell. Ah, Modari. And I'm sure all these things, this man is busy asking for this. He did I be running up. The same thing you are busy asking for your mother, your house, your blessing, your anointing, your power. Because that hammer, I know it's a power. 
That gun, I know it's a power. Is that not so? Who knows? Maybe that man fast for all this thing, requesting it till he die. And he's still guilty of it after death. That day, I cannot talk again. Inside my heart, she make her confess. I'm seeing God as a wicked God. Inside my heart, but I know God can move. Because I, I'm sure that man asks for this thing till he die. You know, give up. And now you still condemn him for it. After a week, we are the thing all those things. I don't come pray about it because I don't want to see another bad thing. I don't pray about that man again. I don't even dream that day. That day is afternoon. Eat too plenty for my house. So, and then my children don't buy fuel for generator. Even though they buy fuel, I know Sabi on generator. Can you see? I know Sabi on now. <laughs> so, I can't manage the heat. And I came out at the back of my window, I put mats. There's a place at the back of my window I normally put mats. My wow. So, I just carry my Bible. Now, Bible are the radio, na film, then they show. Inside Bible. I don't sleep live. And now saw me and one old man sat down. He said, Fumi, you are not happy with the answer you received about Pastor so, so, so. I said, Ah, I don't want what I I don't want what I will talk, and God will say I've committed sin. No, I don't want to put mouth for that matter. He said, No, 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 no. You are the one that knocked the door and we have opened it. You must enter. You must come and see it. Ah. I said, Okay, oh. In that film where they see inside Bible where they open, I saw that I entered the room. And I started telling me what happened. Imagine the ministry that God called this man to. Hey, listen very well. You that the Jews, listen. He said, the owner of the church, I mean the founder of the church. God called him because the person that God called originally called is so stubborn. He refused to answer the call. And the people in that town are suffering. But there's another man there. He no get power to talk much. He no get, you know, he's not a focal person. So, be he humble, he obey God. Anything God say, he will obey. That is why God called him to establish the church. So that person is this pastor I'm talking about? The newly born him. That time when this man obey. This pastor stayed there for eleven years. So they now happen to be going to that church. The pastor now grow and on the, the baby, the child now grow and become pastor, working under that ministry. And is the one that have authority to control the angel of the church, not the geo. So there's mystery when it comes to minister, ministerial work of God. Because he's the one that's supposed to con he's the one that's supposed to establish the church that proves stubborn and die. God now make another person to start it because the time is too short. Why are you sitting down when others are standing? If you kneel down, no problem, but if you sit down, stand up. So you know what? All the power, the authority, the anointing, the blessing you need for the ministry, it is the one in the store, but under the canopy of that church. Because all the power is being registered, approved by the name of that church and the angel of the church. Hey, because it's not a geo, anywhere go do crusade, then they use them to open many branches. You now believe that they don't respect them. They know, you know, uh, you know, the Jew did not misbehave to the man. No. The people recognize this young man than the other, than the Jew because the anointing and the gift. No man now. Even CAC was not found by Babarola. There are three great prophets that found CAC. But when they discover, say, God, don't give them authority, they submit unto him. That is what we call humility and righteousness. Forget about whom you are or your position. Then two or two about it, but before guy me. They submit to Babarola. 
And this daddy Gio do the same thing to this brother. He saw me. Daddy Gio wife seeing husband as a fool. Because the man is too quiet and gentle. You know they like wahala. Daddy, eh? We will go to convention. Instead of people coming to your office for counseling. Now also everybody, they will even make kill there. Nobody recognize you. See, last year convention. See the bag of rice, this they bring to him. How many they bring to us? So the woman now gather people against this man, started fighting this man. And God say, as they are fighting him, ask him, is there any injury? Ask him, is there, does he bury child or wife? I saw them fighting. Do I tell him to go? Then when they go to other prophet, they say, ah, you are a Jew yourself. Is he lying? What they say, is he lying? You are a geo. But they will say, you must not stay under anybody. That's the problem. Because that man, he remained two years that God wants to kill the geo to put him there before he left the church. So as he left the church, he cannot move with the angel and with the provisions. Only because he stepped out when he did not supposed to step out, that's why he go to hell. Can you see that? Hey, my dear friend, that thing you call your life is not your life. He owns it and he will direct it. Any step you take on your own, you will regret it. A matter of fact, it's not good. Then when you move without heavenly permission, you will see your nakedness. You will manage me the way I am until God release you. This is not a matter of joke. And if God wants you to leave you, you don't leave another problem. Hey, hey. And you know what? This is the area we need prophet. And the devil has gone ahead of you. All the people you're supposed to trust as a prophet, where are they? They are now a liar. The one that wants to say the truth cannot see clearly. So now you are in crossroad. Should I go? Should I stay? Many of you are in that condition. It's not God first. The year they born you, do you know how many prophets God released that year they born together? Where are they? Some of them are in Ibiya Palo. Some of them are in politics. Some of them are busy with business. Some of them that want to be a prophet, they started with fake foundation. So now you need prophet for direction. Where are they? It's not God first. Though. Ordinary dream that can be your only help. The carelessness and weakness in prayer. That you, that you did not take serious take the only the only remedy, the only solution power of dream, they also take it from you then who are you going to blame? hey 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 so when Fumi said be only be only excuse me, Nami burn you if you know only me only you go kill me all is for you can you see the reason why you need to obey God can you see the reason why you need, to, you need to get spiritual things? It will affect you both here and in heaven. That man go to hell, and the wife we're supposed to be dreaming, encouraging the man. Daddy, hey, don't let us go until God tell us to go. The, that is the work of women. When your husband is confused and weak, whatever you pronounce will be his destiny. The woman that's supposed to say that, even though they are frustrating you, did I endure? Have I ever complained? The woman that's supposed to encourage him, he said, yeah, me too, don't tell they go. The same woman coming to me, you want to know maybe that did make heaven. You know the worst part? God told me not to tell her. Now you can't fear me, but you know what that means? The woman will have an opportunity to repent. Maybe the woman will have who go to the church and say, please, oh, this is what happened to my husband, though. But I don't know why God say, I should not tell her. But if God tell me tomorrow, go and tell her, I will run. Go and tell her. That's the condition, the case. Now, so, the last prayer point. Let's pray. God, All the prophets you have sent to help me in the junction of confusion that have lost their position and power. God, 
restore me with their power or replace them for me with a better person is that prayer quite necessary My message today, my dear, I myself know is powerful. It's touching. And it's talking about you so much. Don't joke with it. Because every bus stop, every junction, there must be direction. Either somebody or your dream. Then what you are facing now is silence. You unto yourself. Is that not so? And that's the major problem all of us are facing now. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? And people will not keep quiet. Will both monkey, both dog, will both spout. They will come from right, left and right, giving you advice. If you have little problem, you see the people give advice. 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 They won't come to their home. They can't do it all. Be careful. So do be a man shorter. Get a man that drop. Are you getting it now? God, every step I've taken that make you to be silent and reject me. Forgive me. My confusion point. Everyone you have... Excuse me. Any problem you are, you are facing, a prophet has been born for it. All the prophets have been nonsense up and down. Who know maybe they are your prophet? I want prophet. I want to say, I want to say, I want to say, I want to say, I to I want to I want to say, I want to I tell you, be praying. All genuine man of God, all genuine woman of God, God protect them, secure them. You are not praying for them, but you are praying for yourself. Now you need genuine one, they are fallen already. Where will you find one? So all the prayer I tell you to be praying for them. Can't you see the prayer returning to you now? The fool liar that can say the truth before you go see him. At times you can even see her, he will refuse to tell you. Amy, come on, level one, on control, we let her run. I see only what he permits me to say. The way he no permits me, I go remain quiet. Because I cannot leave the little I have because of you. How can I love you more than myself? Ah, if they say don't talk, if you like break your head on the ground, no talk. Because what you're supposed to have, what has been released to you, you lost it and you are forcing me on my own. And small, small, oh. just take it easy. And I'm not stingy or wicked. I follow direction. You better pray. Every prophet you assign for my condition that has fallen, God raise them again. Or raise another one for me. Please stop me with your gift. Open your mouth and pray. The very day you need to choose, is that day you will know you are suffering for lack of prophet. Then it's not yet time for you to choose. That's why you are saying somebody said, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Uh, the day you need to, the day of desperacy, the day you need to take either left or right, it is that day you will know that church has suffering. Ah, oh God, have mercy. We are truly suffering. We are suffering. No one to see. No one to say. God, we need prophets. We need prophets. We are suffering. We are truly suffering. We need prophets, oh Lord. We need prophets. Please, I want you to pray with tears. God, my family need prophets. My love need prophets. I need it. We need it. Open your mouth and pray. I need the spirit of prophet direction. I need it, oh Lord. Give one to me. We need prophets. The spirit to see, to hear. We need it. Have mercy. Have mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. You can remember the story of that pastor I just said now. God himself confirmed that this man is holy to death. He perfects everything. No record of lies. Can you hear that? No record of fornication. 
They say this man has never seen another woman nakedness through her life. How come he got to hell? Just a stare. Just a wrong stare. Just a wrong stare. He sober till death. All those things give to him untouched. And he still go to hell. God will never even remember all his pain. Ah! God! I shall not die without direction. I shall not die without instruction. God speak! Open your mouth and pray! So this message, is it powerful or not? Answer me. And after all this message, put yourself in my position. Preaching this message thinking I have fulfilled God's will. My people will be better now. And after two weeks or a month, and I hear that a member under this ministry, under this ministration, said the second because he's still after this message. How will I feel? Still come back to you and say, Mommy, I fornicate last week. What you want to hear from you is that I forgive you, Abby. <laughs> Still here after this message, somebody under this message, even pastor, even workers, still collect money and spend it. The money is supposed to give to somebody and doesn't care about restitution or you even challenge him. You still have boldness to lie. Will you still have hope on there? That's what many of you are doing to me. That's why I'm losing interest of staying with you. Let me tell you, this message we are preaching here, if this same message is preaching in redeem, all those deep churches, they will have become angels. But I don't know why I'm giving you this. You are taking it, but you can't retain it. Can you pray that one prayer? Any power that did not allow me or the member of this church to live according to evangelist Fumi message, that power die now. Is that a prayer point? Any power that permit us to hear the message, but we cannot live by the message, that power die now. Upon me, upon all the rapper here, that power die. Open your mouth and pray. Thank you, Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray.